Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Today is Sunday, the 9th of July, 2023, and you can see that we're looking at the higher Judge Dread, Judge Dread on Law Master Mark II, and Judge Anderson on Law Master Mark II as well. But her one says set, his one doesn't. That's a bit strange. Uh, I have reviewed both Judge Dread and Judge Anderson previously. So if you check the top right corner of the video as we go along, you'll see their reviews up there somewhere. Uh, interesting, just looking at the boxes, you see there's a sort of a bend in her gun already. Their guns were a bit floppy. In fact, these look a bit different to the previous guns, which is nice. They look more like the ones I remember from the comic. But we'll look at the differences a bit later. Quick look at the boxes. I normally have not much on there, so... Looks pretty cool. The bike has to be said. The wheel turns, which is good. See the gun there. Maybe it's the same. Uh, the Hasper hand and the uh, baton, which is the same as previously. Artwork of sorts on the back. Picture, which looks pretty nice there. Just behind it always their contact details. Uh, artwork again. And that's pretty much it. And I expect almost identical. Yeah. For Judge Anderson and the picture. Different one. Both with the her and the bike. But otherwise, pretty much the same. Okay, I'm going to unbox these. And if you like this sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon. It's free for seven days. And you can cancel any time, including on the seventh day. And it will not charge you anything. So it's worth doing just to check out all the videos that are there. And not yet released on YouTube. And the Patreon exclusive ones too. Okay, then unbox these and set them up. I'll be back in the instant. Stay tuned. Okay, here they are. Very, very cool. Uh, they do look nice. It's a bit annoying the differences you can see in the colours. Like you see on Dred's boots, they're far more gloss and hers are more matte. And same with the blue. He's more shiny, hers is more... Oh, it's a different colour. Hers is dark and more matte. Again, I actually prefer hers to the uh, gloss. Uh, they sit on the bikes okay. Not super, super great, but passable. They do look very nice. Uh, they are exactly the same as the other figures. The guns are the same. The spare hands are the same. The batons are the same. So they're not really the focus of this video. But the bikes are fantastic. And if I've got them both turned on, let me just turn off my uh, my lamp here for a second. And we can see that they should. Oh, there we go. Light up as well. How's that? Very cool. Light up headlights. The battery's a bit dead in this one, it appears. Very, very nice feature. Just touch to turn on and turn off. Very, very cool indeed. So let's get a close look at the uh, bikes. Now they are really, really wide wheels. A bit like my electric bike I've got here in China. And they are flat wheels, so it just stands up without a kickstand and just rolls really well, free reading. Fantastic. Get a look at the uh, the details here. The tyres are fantastic. The wheels are fantastic. Look at the tyres there. The dread, the uh, dread, the tread you can see. Let's turn this off. Is sort of I don't know if this comes that way where it's being dry brushed, but it's so nice to see it. The engine part there looks pretty cool, but the pipes, the exhaust pipes here is like eh. You kind of missed out on doing something extra on the sides there. It looks okay when you look down there, but the sides are a bit plain. Plain on the back there, a bit plain on here. Front looks pretty damn cool, but again. More could have been done. It would have been nice, I just turned it off, is those lights lit up as well. But that does look like a fantastic bike. Really nice job. Really catches the feel of the uh, of the comic, I, I want to say, quite well. Very nice looking bike. And that freewheeling is nice. And yes, the handlebars do turn. If I just turn it on again from the bottom, get that light on. And it will stay on when you're turning left and right. But if you turn left and right, they sort of get stuck. Very, very cool. I think these are just great looking bikes. Uh, they've got great shelf presence if you're, doing, if you're going to display your 2000 AD or Judge Dread figures. Not only they've got great shelf presence, they've got quite a lot of playability too. To the fact that they can stand up about a kickstand, they can free will. You could put other figs on them if you want. You could, I guess, remove the eagle, remove these sort of uh, stars and stripe and, and whatnot and make it for some other sort of universe. But they are nice. I think they've done a great job. They're not cheap, but they are decent. I think I paid about, how much? 40 quid each, I think. So that's about 80 quid, and it coming on 90 quid for both of these. I'm getting just a repeat of the figure, but 
I do love my uh, my uh, 2000 AD comics from years ago. Well, my brother's 2000 AD comics from years ago. You see in the background, I took out the insert for the uh, from the box. I think it looks pretty cool, especially to display these with. It's a nice sort of a back feature as well. Great looking bikes. Same figures we saw previously, which is not a bad thing. They are pretty cool. I think it's a good purchase. Good job by Hire. I do love those lights there. Okay, so all Snatch Toys signing out. Saying please like, share, subscribe. Please join the Patreon. And I'll see you in another video soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.